Great day everyone, welcome to another DaVinci Resolve tutorial on this channel and in today's video I would like to show you how you can easily remove the green screen from your videos in multiple ways. So let's go for it. Okay, so let's say that DaVinci Resolve is already running and this is our original footage towards which we want to add our green screen. So in my case the green screen is going to be like and subscribe button so I will simply drag and drop it about my original footage like this and as you can see it's simply green screen with the like subscribe button so now how to remove the green screen first way how you can do this is through the color so simply go towards this color tab then as you can see here at the right side this green screen window and those green and blue dots you will simply right click anywhere towards this area and then you will choose add alpha output as you can see the blue dot in the gray rectangle appeared at the right and then all you want to do is connect this blue dot with this blue circle so simply hold drag and drop towards this blue circle now we want to go towards this color picker icon and make sure that you have choose this first icon as soon as you have choose this one you will simply click anywhere on the green screen at the video so let's say here and now as you can see all we wanted to remove state and all we wanted to say got removed so all we have to do now is basically click on this icon that will switch the process and now all we wanted to stay actually stayed and green screen was removed but if you will look closer there is still some green outlier for this you can simply play with the in out ratio so i will put this to minus 100 as I can see still some green around, I will play with the blue radius as well. But I want to keep at least some green levels around to then feather this out. So when I finished playing with the in-out ratio and blue radius, now I can click on this feather plus and simply click on this subscribe button. Thanks what? All of the green outliers simply disappeared. So now the green screen should be perfectly removed. But as I will go back to edit, and now let's say that I want to zoom out a little bit the subscribe button and also reposition it. So let's say I will zoom out and yeah, it's cropped everywhere where the green screen was. So don't worry, it's really not a big problem. I will simply go back towards the color and then I will go towards this circle with the dots and I will simply choose the square icon. Now I will just select where is the area in the green screen I want to keep. So I will simply drag and make bigger this original rectangle like this. Also a little bit towards the bottom because there will be arrow incoming. So I will keep it like this. And now when I will go back towards the edit, as you can see, it's perfect background video with perfectly removed green screen, which I can freely move around the video. Okay, so this was the first way. The another way how you can actually do this is so let's start over again. Let's put there the new green screen. So the second way you can do this is through diffusion. This is probably even easier and faster way to do this. So we will go through the fusion tab this time. Then you will click on effects at the top left and you will simply search for the delta here. Right this one. As soon as you found the delta here, you will simply drag it and drop right between the media in one and media out. Okay, so drag and drop right between. And now, as you can see, the inspector at the right appeared. Here we can see the background color. This is where you want to choose the right color of your green screen. In my case, I can easily use this color picker. So I will simply drag this and drop towards my green screen. And voila! all of the green screen area was removed. In your case, it might not be so perfect. It still can be some green parts. There still can be something what should be 100% opacity with the 50% opacity and vice versa. For this, in case your result is not perfect, you want to change the view model to the matte. And then you also want to go towards this matte mode and play with the threshold till you are sure that everything what you want to disappear from your green screen is fully black and everything what you want to stay on your video is fully white so in my case it was already perfect at the beginning but in your case with some more complex green screen you might need to play with the threshold quite a bit as you are done with the playing around those settings and your image here is fully black and white you can go back to view mode final result and then i'm going back to the edit 
Here already all of the green screen was removed and this time there is no problem with the crop around the button. So I can easily position it where I want and we are done. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's all for this video. Really hope you found it what you were looking for. Hope you are good and video fine. Thanks for watching and all of the support and see you all next time.